everyone, welcome back to my channel. This is a glitter bomb, glitter glam smoky eye. <laughs> Basically, I have black glitter and I love this because it's like the most subtle way or one of the most subtle ways to wear glitter because obviously black is a little bit less obvious, a little bit less shimmery and shiny, but still is shimmery and shiny. So compare that with like a really intense black smoky eye when you go out clubbing or something and it just looks lovely. I'm going to start off with MAC Paint Pot in Soft Ochre. I'm using this shade because it is the closest to my foundation. So when I do apply my foundation, the two will just blend in together. Just on the corner too. And underneath. This just makes me look like <laughs> extremely ill. Now I'm just using a translucent powder. This is Rimmel um, Stay Matte in 001. And I'm just going to dust that all over that primer because I don't like applying eyeshadow to a sticky base because the eyeshadow sticks to the sticky base <laughs> and it kind of looks a little bit patchy. So when it's all matte and the same kind of consistency or texture as the eyeshadow, it blends out much more nicely. Next I'm going to use this Makeup Store Blush in Posh. So I'm... <coughs> oh. I'm going to use this in the crease. <laughs> I'm going to use the Sigma Tapered Blending E40 brush. My favorite blush brush for blending blush or eyeshadow out. <laughs> I'm going to go back and forth, windscreen wiper motions. This brush is perfect because it's so big and fat that it just blends it out effortlessly. I don't know what I did before I used this um, brush. Seriously. <laughs> Then I'm going to use the Meat Matte Nude Palette. I really hope this is still available from the balm. Um, mine's a little bit <laughs> broken, but has the most beautiful matte shades. Perfect for lots of different kinds of smoky eyes, natural looks. Love it. I'm going to use Matte Garcia. Just a little bit more depth into the crease. Always start with as little on the brush as you can possibly get, and then work your way up. It just kind of minimizes your chance of giving yourself like a makeup black eye. <laughs> Just going back in with the Sigma E40 just to blend that all together. The number one thing I get told by girls who are trying to do or trying to learn how to do smoky eyes is that they're too scared to do it because they're too scared of having like a black eye or like looking up to have a black eye. But it's so easy to avoid that if you just start off with as little product as possible and then work your way up. Going in extremely softly with the big brush and Blending that into the crease even more. With smoky eyes, you literally cannot blend enough. <laughs> Next, I'm going to use the Maybelline Color Tattoo 24 Hour in 100 Dramatic Black, and this is going to be the base of our smoky eye. So I'm just going to apply this with the Real Techniques Base Shadow Brush. Next, I'm going to use the Makeup Store Micro Shadow in Pollution with the Zoeva 231 Luxe Petite Crease Brush. I'm going to get some of this black eyeshadow on the tip of the brush and I'm going to start blending this into the crease. You could just blend that cream shadow into the crease if that works for you, but mine's a little bit too dried up so it just pulls on my um, eyelid too much. Then I'm going to grab another blending brush and some more of that black and just blend that into the crease even more. So after blending and blending and blending some more, finally happy with how it looks. Next I'm going to use the Sigma Short Shader E20 brush with the same Makeup Store Pollution eyeshadow which is basically a matte black and I'm going to apply this underneath my eyes but I'm not going to make it like super smoked out, super intense because I want this to look um, a little bit less heavy. I don't want the whole eye to be like black. I want it to be you know, really like eye catching on the top and then just slightly balanced 
on the bottom, but nothing like <laughs> So I'm not using the flat side, I'm using the tip and I'm just going to push that into my lash line. So now for the very, very fun part, I'm going to use the Essence Crystal Eyeliner in 02 Black Star and I'm going to use, that is so weird, this is the Makeup Store Glitter, um, what does it say, yeah, Glitter in Black Star, same name, different brands, weird, <laughs> basically just a stunning pot of black glitter, I can't really show you very well because obviously it's just going to go everywhere but you can kind of see that. So I'm going to use the Essence Black Star which is basically just black glitter in a clear base and I'm going to basically just paint that all over my eyelid. Of course only where it's black. And I'm going to quickly dip my finger in the glitter and press, oh I love it already, <laughs> press that on to my eyelid. Obsessed. Love it, love it, love it. I don't go clubbing anymore, but if I did, I would be wearing this in an instant. <laughs> NYX Liquid Crystal Liner in Crystal Onyx, which is black glitter with kind of like black and silver, but it's very, very fine. I accidentally used that in the inner corner, but I'm actually stoked how it turned out. So I'm going to apply a little bit more. It's because it gives you the appearance of having glitter in the inner corner, but not actually needing to put glitter there. So it's, you know, minimizing the chance of it getting in your eyes and it's just easier to control. I'm going to apply a little bit of that underneath the lower lashes in the middle just to see how it looks. Hmm. Okay, I really like that. I'm just adding a tiny little bit of the eyeliner in the middle and then using whatever I have left on my finger to dot some glitter over that space. Oh, so pretty. Because I don't want it to be like too overdramatic on the bottom, but I still want it to have a little bit of sparkle. So I think that's a really nice subtle way of doing so. I'm going to use the Makeup Store Eye Pencil in Darkest Shadow. I'm going to apply this in the waterline. Just seeing how it looks and tight lining the upper. Woo, I hate doing that upper lash line. It just feels weird. <laughs> it just feels wrong. Next, we're going to use the Ardency in Plunker Unrivaled Volume and Curl Lash Wax, which is basically a mascara. I'm going to absolutely coat my lashes. I love when I've got like a really dark, smoky eye, because then it means if I get black dots on my eyelid, it doesn't matter because you can't see them. <laughs> so I can just go crazy. I'm going to remove all of the fallout on my face. I've just got some micellar water and a tissue. Next for foundation, I'm going to use the NARS All Day Luminous Weightless Foundation. This is awesome. You guys know that I love it. I've been using it quite a lot recently. So I'm just going to apply that all over my face, of course. So with this particular look, I want the base to be flawless because the eyes are so dramatic. I'm using the shade Medium One Punjab for anybody who seems to be the same shade as me in other foundations. Next, I'm going to use the L'Oreal True Match Concealer in 4 Beige underneath my eyes. And with my eyes, I'm going to use some MAC Mineralized Skin Finish in Light just to set the under eye concealer. Of course, be careful with this because you don't want the powder to get on your lashes and make them look white.
I just remembered that I forgot to say that I am putting on false lashes. I'm just going to do it at the very end to kind of tie the whole look together. Then I'm going to use the Mirinus DD Velvet Skin Line Minimizing Powder in One Universal. Next I'm going to use Milani Dolce Pink Baked Blush with the Sigma Large Angled Contour F40 Brush. Next, I'm going to use the Charlotte Tilbury Film Star Bronze and Glow Face Sculpt and Highlight Palette. Love this palette! I'm going to use the Sculpt just very lightly. I just realised that I didn't contour because I normally don't, but with this look, a little bit of definition I wouldn't go astray. Just a tiny bit though because I don't want it to be like too over the top. Then I'm going to use my current favourite highlight shade, the one on the right. It's beautiful. Beautiful. Now it's finally time for eyebrows. This look just doesn't look right without having defined eyebrows. So I'm just uh, brushing them through to get them in shape. And then I'm going to use my usual favorites, my Sigma Brow Powder Duo in medium with my MAC 266 brush. I'm using the Australis Lash and Brow Extender just to set them in place. Now I'm going to apply some falsies. I want to do that before I do my lips because otherwise I will definitely forget. So. I'm going to use the Red Cherry number 138 lashes. Love these ones. These are very, very long, which is good for this particular look because I need something to stand out against the um, dark eyes, so, or the dark base. So I'm going to use those with the uh, Lash Grip Eyelash Adhesive. All right, time for lips. I just realized I didn't even say what this product was. It's from Makeup Store, their Nude Beauty Matte Lip Liner. So I actually love that shade. It's like a perfect nudish brownie shade and I haven't really worn one before but it looks amazing. I love it. Really, really nice with this eyeshadow look. So that is the finished look and I absolutely love it. Probably one of my favorite tutorials that I've ever, ever, ever done. I just love the twist on the black smoky eye with the glitter. I love the nude lips because they're just a different take on a nude lip for this kind of look. Also, don't forget to check out my website, loveloz.com. I've got usually like two or three posts going up a week on that site. And don't forget to subscribe to my newsletter if you haven't already, because it basically just means that you get kept in the loop. So yay! Thank you all so much for watching. I love you guys so much as always, and I'll see you all in my next video. Bye! everyone welcome back to my channel this is a glitter bomb glitter glam smoky eye <laughs> basically i have black glitter and i love this because it's like the most subtle way or one of the most subtle ways to wear glitter because obviously black is a little bit less obvious a little bit less shimmery and shiny but still is shimmery and shiny so compare that with like a really intense black smoky eye when you go out clubbing or something and it just looks lovely. I'm going to start off with MAC Paint Pot in Soft Ochre. I'm using this shade because it is the closest to my foundation. So when I do apply my foundation, the two will just blend in together. Just on the corner two and underneath. This just makes me look like <laughs> extremely ill. Now I'm just using a translucent powder. This is Rimmel um, stay matte your way up. 
going in extremely softly with the big brush and blending that into the crease even more. With smoky eyes, you literally cannot blend enough. <laughs> Next, I'm going to use the Maybelline Color Tattoo 24 Hour in 100 Dramatic Black, and this is going to be the base of our smoky eye. So I'm just going to apply this with the Real Techniques Base Shadow Brush. Next, I'm going to use the Makeup Store Micro Shadow in Pollution with the Zoeva 231 Luxe Petite Crease Brush. I'm going to get some of this black eyeshadow on the tip of the brush and I'm going to start blending this into the crease. You could just blend that cream shadow into the crease if that works for you, but mine's a little bit too dried up so it just pulls on my um, eyelid too much. Then I'm going to grab another blending brush and some more of that black and just blend that into the crease even more. So after blending and blending and blending some more, finally happy with how it looks. Next I'm going to use the Sigma Short Shader E20 brush with the same Makeup Store Pollution eyeshadow which is basically a matte black and I'm going to apply this underneath my eyes but I'm not going to make it like super smoked out, super intense because I want this to look um, a little bit less heavy. I don't want the whole eye to be like black, I want it to be you know, really like eye catching on the top and then just slightly balanced in 001 and I'm just going to dust that all over that primer because I don't like applying eyeshadow to a sticky base because the eyeshadow sticks to the sticky base <laughs> and it kind of looks a little bit patchy so when it's all matte and the same kind of consistency or texture as the eyeshadow it blends out much more nicely. Next I'm going to use this Makeup Store Blush in Posh. So I'm <coughs> oh I'm going to use this in the crease. <laughs> I'm going to use the Sigma Tapered Blending E40 brush. My favorite blush brush for blending blush or eyeshadow out. <laughs> I'm going to go back and forth, windscreen wiper motions. This brush is perfect because it's so big and fat that it just blends it out effortlessly. I don't know what I did before I used this um, brush. Seriously. <laughs> Then I'm going to use the Meat Matte Nude Palette. I really hope this is still available from the balm. Um, mine's a little bit <laughs> broken, but it has the most beautiful matte shades. Perfect for lots of different kinds of smoky eyes, natural looks. Love it. I'm going to use Matte Garcia. Just add a little bit more depth into the crease. Always start with as little on the brush as you can possibly get, and then work your way up. It just kind of minimizes your chance of giving yourself like a makeup black eye. <laughs> Just going back in with the Sigma E40 just to blend that all together. The number one thing I get told by girls who are trying to do or trying to learn how to do smoky eyes is that they're too scared to do it because they're too scared of having like a black eye or like looking up to have a black eye. But it's so easy to avoid that if you just start off with as little product as possible and then work. 